Hello, my fellow foodies. We're cooking up something tasty in the Avenue Fresh kitchen. They say you eat with your eyes first, and this beautiful roasted vegetable dish will grab everyone's attention. Okay, let's get started. Set your oven to 400 degrees. For this recipe, you'll need fresh sage, oregano, and thyme, one red onion, four rainbow carrots. Look how eye-catching these are. Nature really is a wonder. 2 teaspoons sumac, 2 teaspoon dried oregano, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, 1 half to 1 teaspoon salt, 2 tablespoons olive oil, 4 purple potatoes, 1 roasting pumpkin or any squash that you prefer, 2 teaspoons sesame seeds, honey for drizzling, 2 zucchini cut and degorged. Don't worry, I'll explain what degorging is. Slice down the center lengthwise, cutting each side in half again. You should have a total of 8 pieces. Score each piece and liberally cover with salt. The salt draws liquid out of the vegetables. This is degorging. It helps the zucchini caramelize and roast up like the other vegetables that don't hold as much water. I'll set these aside until we're ready to roast. Next, I'm placing the rest of the veggies in this parchment lined pan. I'll start with the pumpkin. With a little elbow grease, cut down the middle and then remove the seeds. This process always reminds me of childhood and it's kind of comforting. Does anyone else feel that way? Once your pumpkin is deseeded, cut each half into four wedges, like this. Did you know that pumpkin skin is good for you? You just have to know how to cook it the right way. I like to place the wedges with the skin facing the edge of the roasting pan to ensure it caramelizes to perfection. Yum. If you're enjoying what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to the Avenue Fresh channel. Okay, onto the carrots. Simply cut down the center and that's it. I can't get over how beautiful these are. I'm just placing these around the pan. Don't worry about presentation just yet. We still need to coat them with oil. There's just something about purple potatoes that make a meal feel extra special. And the color is so deep. I love it. With these potatoes, we're just gonna cut them in half and place them in the pan. A quick note here, they will stay in your hands, but it's nothing a little lemon juice can't remedy. I love how colorful these vegetables are. They look like candy. Our red onion will be cut and quartered like this and placed in the pan. This looks great. Now for the finishing touches. Now it's important to use enough oil to coat the vegetables. It's better to use too much than too little when achieving a good roast and caramelization. You can always leave any excess oil in the pan when plating. With clean hands, get in there and massage the oil into the vegetables. I'm using a honey dipper to drizzle honey over the top of our veggies. It will help with caramelization and overall make it something really special. I have our dried herbs and spices here, giving this dish warmth and depth of flavor. Use about half of it to go over the veggies. The other half will go on the zucchini. For those of you unfamiliar with sumac, it's a spice often used in Middle Eastern cuisine. It's tangy with a hint of citrus flavor. I also like to add a pinch of cayenne to add a little kick. That's optional. Now we'll add our fresh herbs. They'll infuse the veggies while roasting. Lastly, we'll crush up some sesame seeds and sprinkle, giving a little crunch to each bite. Look how beautiful these veggies look, and they aren't even roasted yet. Now, let's do the same to the zucchini. These have been resting for about 15 minutes. See all those water pearls? I think our salt technique has done a good job of pulling excess liquid. Now, all we have to do is blot the zucchini with a paper towel. This not only removes the water, but also wipes away most of the salt. And don't worry, this won't make the zucchini over salted. Place your zucchini in its own parchment lined pan. It's just an extra step to ensure other veggies aren't around too much moisture. Moisture will cause our veggies to steam, but we want our veggies roasted. Next, we'll follow the same steps as our other veggies by adding olive oil, honey, spices, sesame seeds, and fresh herbs. Place both roasting pans in your oven and set your timer for 30 minutes, give or take. If you can cut into your veggies like butter and they're brown to your liking, they're good to go. Look at this plate, it's stunning. As if this dish wasn't perfect on its own, I'm adding our avocado tahini dip to take it over the top. To watch the video on how to make this dip, click on the video link above or below. This dip is so delicious, your guests will be licking the bowl clean. How embarrassing. Now you can serve this on a platter, but for individual plating, I like to take a generous dollop of the avocado tahini dip and with a spoon, guide it across the plate. Next, place these colorful beauties around your plate. There really is no wrong way to do it. I'll place some potato halves here, a carrot here, and an onion wedge there. Beautiful. 
I'm just gonna garnish this plate with some parsley and pumpkin seeds and finishing salt that I had on hand. All of these are optional, of course. Okay, there you have it. Your new favorite roasted vegetable dish. Perfect as a side, but is complex enough to stand on its own. What is your favorite holiday side dish? Name a few below. I'd love to hear from you. Happy holidays, and as always, keep it fresh.